26 and tongue speaking, May 26. A spirit of fanatics has ruled a certain class of Sabbath keepers. They have tasted but lightly at the fountain of truth and are unacquainted with the spirit of the message of the third angel. Nothing can be done for this class until uh, their fanatical views are corrected. Uh, they have an unmeaning gibberish, which they call unknown tongue, which is unknown not only by man, but also by the Lord and all heaven. The Bible declares in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 32 and 33, it says, The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Uh, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as, uh, as in all churches of the saints. Understand that we should look at the two words, author and peace. As we look at the author, for God is not the author of confusion, uh, the author means the originator. So we know that confusion never originated with God. Uh, confusion never began with God. Uh, uh, confusion began or originated by the devil himself. Now let's look at a peace. A peace is harmony. Harmony is what was originated uh, uh, with God. So peace and harmony was originated by God and the opposite was originated by Satan himself. He is God. He is in a category all by himself. There is none like him. There is none who can stand beside him. For God is an organized God. God is a harmonious God and hence his church ought to be organized and harmonious as well. Uh, the Bible says the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all uh, churches of the saints. It means that God's church must represent who God is. Uh, God cannot be uh, the author of peace and the, in the church is disarray. But if God is the author of peace and he is an harmonious God, then his church needs to be harmonious as well. Uh, you may be wondering to yourself, how could I be in harmony with the will of God? As you tune in tomorrow, we will hear prove all things. But until tomorrow, why not let's trust God's word? Uh, let's trust God's word to direct us into becoming harmonious with him and also with each other. Let us put our faith and trust in him. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are so happy that you can uh, give us that peace uh, that would pass all understanding. We thank you so much for what you have done. Bless us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, remember... The power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. Get ready, get ready for your miracle.